New year, new things to learn. 2022 is here. New year, new things to learn. 2020. Shit. New year, new things to learn. 2022, new year, new things to learn. 2022 is here. New year, new things to learn. 2022, 2022, 2022 is here. New things to learn. 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022 is here. New year, new things, new things, new year, new things, new year, new year. 2022, 2022 is here. 2023 is here, and it's about time for me to learn color grading. It's gonna take a while to get used to that. Channel, I'm not doing need about, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing to it. I've been shooting videos for a few years now, but I've never really gotten into color grading for real. I shot Vlog a couple of years ago and just, I just left it there. I just left it as it, as it was. No correction. I thought it looked better that way than for me to actually try to do something. Lately I started playing around with colors and lights and as I often do, I recreate things that I've done in the past to see if I got it any better uh, from when I started. The video itself I'm quite happy with, so why not go with the same theme and just add some better lights to it. I'm all by myself and I still want to have some movements in the video, so I'm gonna shoot a little bit wider just so I can have the option to crop. And obviously I'm gonna shoot everything in vlog with 60 frames per second. I'm gonna use my 24 to 70 lens for this whole shoot. I wanna have it like very like close up to it. Let's head on in the kitchen, make a scene. I'm just gonna cry, okay? Let's head out in the kitchen and just rig everything up. Holy shite. Holy shite. Let's turn the lights off a little bit. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. I want a little close up of the bubbles. Go on the side here. This is what I wanted. Exactly this. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Do, 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 do. I want it to come from like top down. I'm gonna get killed for doing this. Wasting coffee like this. At least it smells good. I kinda wanna go from underneath uh, when I'm pouring out the coffee. This way. I want to even lower down. Actually, I'm gonna take the camera off from this here. See if we can do it one hand. Let's see if I can get this shot right. It's gonna, it's gonna help. Oh, maybe I can do it. a little fake one. about that. <sighs> Let's enjoy this cup of coffee in my favorite cup. <sighs> Let's just put everything in Premiere Pro and hopefully the video turns out better than this coffee did. I put everything in Premiere Pro, uh, the clips, some audio and some effects. I'm gonna cut everything up and make something out of it and hopefully we can get to the color grading soon. I 
I did like a rough cut of everything. Now I'm just gonna put an adjustment layer on top of all of it. Find a, a nice looking uh, LUT. I feel like it fits the, the purpose or fits the, the style of the video I wanna go with. And when I'm done with that, I'm just going to each and every one of, of the clips. I just hit auto and go from there. Uh, you usually do a great job with the adjustments, with the correction, the basic corrections. And I also go to the curve settings, the RGB curves, and just play around with that. Then this time I actually went back into the adjustment layer, went to vignette and put a little bit of vignette on top of all the all the clips and I also go to the color wheels, match the shadows and highlights. Uh, so it looks good for this specific video. Another put another adjustment layer on top, crop it down from top to bottom just to get that cinematic look fit. And this is the final result. I did have some problems with the mic while shooting this editing part, so I ended up losing some of the audio. But I did some tweaks and I'm really happy uh, about the outcome of, of the video. I'm not usually shoot vlog, uh, but the process was pretty much the same. I took an adjustment layer, added it on top of all the clips and put a lot on the adjustment layer, just as a basic ground for the grading. After that, I went into each clip and did some basic adjustments uh, with highlights and exposures and stuff like that. And I also played around a little bit with the RGB curve. I always go through some extra times just to make sure that everything matched together. After that, I go back into the adjustment layer and play around with the color wheel and the match. I ended up putting a budget on top of it all just to get something going. So that's my method of color grading. Uh, I'm no pro at this. Uh, so I will take this year and try to develop this skill a little bit more and add it to my arsenal. For the most part, it comes down to personal taste and a preference how to do it and what you think looks good. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Hold on. Holy shit, macaroni.